What's up guys? Welcome back to Fish Over Chicks Woodworking. My name is Peter and today I'm showing you the number one scrap project that I have made over a thousand dollars on in just the last couple months and that is a squirrel picnic table. Squirrel picnic tables are super easy to make, super cheap to make. I made these with either scrap wood or one piece of one by two by eight so that's only like a dollar so it costs barely anything to make these and you can sell them for like 20 bucks you can make a ton of money selling these i actually just stopped selling them because i was so tired of making them i made so many of them but these will make you a ton of money if you open up an etsy shop or sell them on facebook marketplace craigslist anything like that people love these things and i guarantee you you're gonna get a ton of sales if you make them so let's get into it <laughs> As I said uh, before, this is a great scrap wood project. If you don't have any scrap wood lying around, you can buy one of these one by two by eights. This is one of those just cut down. They're like a dollar, maybe two dollars, depending on how much wood is. And uh, you can make the whole thing with a little bit less than one of these. You can make this whole project for less than a dollar or two. So you're gonna cut down that one by two, go two pieces to nine and a quarter, five pieces to eight, and then you're gonna do these pieces with the angle and these are gonna be the legs of the picnic table. So these from the top of the tip to the bottom of the tip are about five and a half inches. They don't have to be perfectly five and a half inches, but you do wanna make sure all four of the legs are the same. So that's all you're gonna need for wood. Uh, you are gonna need some wood glue to put all this together. And then you're gonna need some mini clamps. I guess they don't have to be mini, but it definitely helps if they're mini. Um, so you're not putting too much pressure on it because it is a very small, delicate project. I'm going to be using a nail gun, but you do not need to use a nail gun. The nail gun just makes it go a lot faster. You can glue, nail it in, and then get on to the next step. So if you don't have a nail gun, you're just going to have to let it sit for like half an hour before you do the next step. So let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take one of our nine and a quarter inch pieces, and then we're going to take two of our legs here, and we're going to assemble half of the legs. So you're going to want to take your straight edge, put it down, and then you're going to want to line up the legs just like that, flush against the straight edge, just like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to grab a pencil, which I always have on me, and your other nine and a quarter inch piece, and you're just going to line it up on the bottom there. So the thin end is here, and then you're going to make a mark just like that. So it's going to look like that. You're going to have about three quarters of an inch. So now what you're going to do is you're just going to put a little drop of glue right above the line you just made on both legs. Make sure that these are still flush against your straight piece. Then you're going to take this and you're going to line up the bottom onto that line you just made. Just like that. And just eye it to make it as center as possible. And then once that's placed where you want it, just push it down a little bit. Try to not move it around too much. So now if you don't have a nail gun, you can just let this sit for about 30 minutes and you can do this on the next leg and then let them both sit. If you do have a nail gun, go ahead and put two nails here and then two nails there and then move on to the next leg and then you'll be done. You won't have to wait for those to dry. All right, now I'm gonna take my other two diagonal leg pieces and my nine and a quarter inch piece and make the other one. Now that you've got both of your legs made, we are going to move on to the next step. What you're gonna do for this step is you're going to take one set of legs and then two of your eight inch pieces that you cut. And then you're going to take another eight inch piece just um, as a support for now. And what you're going to do is put the leg side down on that support piece. So you have it so it's suspended off the table a little bit. Then you're going to take your two eight inch pieces and you're just going to place them like this. And that's how you're going to get the bench part of it so you're gonna put some glue on it and then you're gonna glue those down just like that and then clamp them down so let's do that now you're just gonna want to put a little bit of glue on top of these two pieces then you're gonna want to like I said lay the leg side down there it's okay if the glue drips a bit and then you're gonna push your two support pieces onto that just like that give them a little bit of pressure then you're gonna clamp so this is what it's gonna look like once you got that. As you can see, it's starting to look like half of a picnic table. So now if you do have extra clamps, we're gonna go ahead and do the other side. 
and you're just gonna do the same thing, making sure that leg piece is facing out so you got consistency there. So you're gonna put down another scrap support piece just like that. Glue like you did for the first one, right there. Then you're gonna lay it down leg side on your support piece, just like that. And then you're gonna grab the whole thing and just line that up like so. And then clamp that down. So now that you've clamped all four sides, all four legs, that's what it's going to start to look like. So you're pretty much done. You, all you need to do is the top. And while we're waiting for this to dry, I'd say give it about 30 minutes and it should be good to go. Uh, so as we wait for that to dry, we're going to make the top. What we're going to do for the top is you're going to grab your three remaining eight inch pieces. And this is pretty much the easiest part. All you're going to do is stick them together just like this. You don't even need clamps for this. Uh, they'll just stay. Just put a little bit of glue right here on this side, just like that. And then you're gonna grab another piece and you're just gonna push those together. And then you're gonna grab your last piece, put a little bit of glue on the side and stick that to the others. And like I said, you don't need clamps. It's gonna look completely fine without them. You just stick them together and let that sit for 30 minutes your top will be done and we'll connect it and we'll be done. So we'll come back in about 30 minutes when these are all dry. All right, so I let all that sit for about 30 minutes. The table top is done, looks good. And so is the bottom half. So let's take those clamps off. So there it is, that's what it's looking like. Pretty good. Now all we're gonna do is put some glue on the top of these two sets of legs and then center the table on top. So now we've got that tabletop on and there it is, a mini picnic table. So now you can do one of a few things. You can drill a hole in the top and then you can put a screw through the top and what that's going to do is allow you to screw a piece of corn on it because the squirrels love corn. Um, and if you wanted to attach it to a tree, you can just grab a scrap piece of 1x4 or something and nail that into this back part and then you can either tie that board it's gonna be like this. You can tie that around a tree. You can screw it into a tree, uh, whatever you wanna do. But yeah, so that is how you make a squirrel picnic table. Super easy and cheap to make, and you can make a lot of money selling these. That's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you liked it, like, comment down below any other videos you'd like us to make. Uh, subscribe, we're trying to hit a thousand subscribers, so every subscriber helps. Uh, but until the next video, thank you for watching. I hit it, I nailed it.